Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. Or if you're new, then welcome aboard. Glad you're here, and I hope that I can teach you something about Photoshop Elements. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please take a minute and click the subscribe button. In this particular video, as the title says, we are going to learn how to save a picture for the web. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, basically, when we take pictures today with our high megapixel cameras, the file size becomes quite large. You put that on your website, or if you email that to grandma, what seems to happen is it takes an awful long time to load onto a web page. Sometimes even with high-speed DSL, uh, like my mother has, um, I think, one megabyte download, which is not extremely high in today's market, but remember, there's still people out there that's going to view your website with dial-up. Believe it or not, it is a true phenomenal. So we have Photoshop Elements uh, Editor opened up here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to simply click on File. We have a picture open here that I... Uh, recently took uh, on an outing. So we're going to go under File, and we're going to go to Save for the Web. Okay, Save for Web. And what it's going to do here, it's going to give us a match. This is the picture that we're, that the original full resolution picture. You can see down here at the bottom, if you can see this is 7.2 mega, or megabytes. So that's how big it is right now. Over here, it says the GIF image is 1.822 megabytes or 1.82 megabytes now what's even more important under here is how fast it's going to download at 28.8 kilobytes or very very slow modem connection so it's going to be 664 seconds at 28.8 now what I want to show you more than anything is right over here on this side we're looking at uh, the presets. The preset is normally set for GIF just automatically. I don't really like the GIF format because it's a very loose type format and the color is not as vibrant or as uh, good as what compression of JPEG would be. So let's change this pull down menu to JPEG. Now look what happens down here. The compression is so much better that now the time is going to be 148 seconds at 28.8. And it's 412.7 kilobytes. So that's a really, really small picture. And if you look at it, it still really looks good between this one and the original. It looks really good. That's what they're going to see on the internet. You can even lower it a little bit more. You can drop this quality down to medium. You can see the quality is going to drop to 30 over here. Uh, the file size just keeps getting smaller and smaller. But you have to watch. If you look at this picture and you look at the real close detail here, if you click the little magnifying glass, we can actually magnify this up. And if you see what happens is it magnifies both sides. So we can see exactly what we're trying to compare it to. But if you take this quality and you drop this back, say, to 10, it starts to get very grainy or pixelated. So we don't want that. Let's close this and we'd rather set this instead of low to at least medium where the pixelation is not there but if you're saving for web you can even save it high 148 seconds at 28.8 so 148 seconds is roughly two minutes or two minutes and a couple seconds or you can double click that magnifying glass up there and put it back to the original and now it looks very good again. Again, if you click it and bring it up, you can see the pixelation is no longer there and it looks very good. The time is going to be a lot better than 7.2 megabytes. So remember, you can play with these settings a little bit and adjust this down. You can actually adjust the size uh, and make it a new size, but I suggest to do that more in the uh, resizing when you're in the editor itself. Matte, you could do a, a white matte, uh, you know, or a black matte, or a eyedropper color. I tend to leave mine at none. Click OK. And that's going to ask you where do you want to save this at. So it's already called, this is already the name of the picture. Uh, so I'm just going to add web after it, and then I'll save that out. 
and there you go. Now if we go look for that picture, I keep mine under pictures uh, and edited. We'll open that up. Dripping Web is right here and we'll just open it with a preview window. And you can still see it, it looks very, very good. And it's a very small uh, size, so it's, it's going to load very, very fast in the web browser. So that is a way that you can actually take high, uh, very heavy megapixel pictures and actually save those for the web. And then you could even take that particular picture and attach that to an email and send that out to grandma or whoever, uh, or the parents, maybe you wanted to... Uh, send a picture to the parents uh, maybe you are the grandma and you want to send a picture to mom and dad they're at work but uh, it's a nice way to save it as always if you enjoyed this video tutorial please check out my website jackstechcorner.com and pick up the dvd collection you can't go wrong folks there's a lot of videos on here the three volume set contains 112 video tutorials 112 video tutorials on Photoshop Elements. And folks, these work with version 6 all the way through 9. So no matter what version you have, you're good to go if you buy this uh, set. Or you can buy the individual copies, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. I do ask you to join our web forums. If you have a few minutes, click on that, sign up. It's a great place to talk about uh, photography, Windows, servers, uh, Linux, Macs. We talk about everything in there. Uh, get in there and uh, join up and join the conversations that's going on. If you don't want to buy anything, you don't want to join the forums, please donate to the show. It does help me to purchase software, pay for my websites. It helps me to uh, you know, buy the stuff I need for the studio to keep producing these videos. So until next time, as always, please keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and post some of your stuff on the internet. Let us see it. Don't forget you can also join our Facebook group and uh, join the group. It's Jack's Tech Corners, the group. Sign up today, post some pictures, and let us see what you're doing. I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.